What if we turned Flash Sagittario into a top tier attack type Beyblade? As we all may know, the Flash Fusion Wheel is the best attack type Fusion Wheel in the Metal Fight Saga. And why is that? If you look at the Flash Fusion Wheel, it's basically the same shape as an oval. To explain it simply, when things spin, it takes up a shape of a circle. We'll compare it to a black circle with Flash. Check out the picture, the more black you see, the more damage. And here's another example with Diablo Nemesis. We're going to be testing out two different combos, which the first one will be Flash Agitario 105 Rubber Flat. This combo is supposed to be a low height swift attacker with the rubber flat tip that's extremely aggressive and easier to control. And for our second combo, we're going to be testing out Flash Agitario Gravity Ball 145 Right Rubber Flat. This combo is going to be a lot more aggressive and heavier due to the Gravity Ball 145 spin track and a lot more aggressive but harder to control because of the right rubber flat tip. We're going to be going against three levels of Beyblades, the first one being Diablo Nemesis, the heaviest Beyblade and a natural counter to Flash Sagittario, but it will be in its stock form. The second level will be against Death Quetzalcoatl, which I personally think is the best defense stock combo there is in Beyblade, mainly due to its rubber defense flat tip and the low recoil fusion wheel. Level 3 will be going against a custom defense type combo, Duo Uranus SA165 Rubber Sharp, an extremely bulky and tanky defense type Beyblade that has extremely low recoil as well. This is an iteration of the ultimate defense type Beyblade. Let's start the battles using Flash Auditario 105 Rubber Flat vs Diablo Nemesis XD. The battles are going to be best of 5, so first to 3 points wins. Sagittario gets the first knockout and now the score is 1-0. Took a bit, but Sagittario did get a knockout there, and now the score is 2 0. Yeah, and that was pretty brutal. Sagittario gets completely knocked out of the stadium. The score is now 2 1. Sagittario actually did win here, so let me just pull up a replay. I slow mo it just so you can see a bit closer. Sagittario actually did get the knockout here, but there is actually a wall right below the camera, so Diablo Nemesis did get back in. Overall, Sagittario did very well against Diablo Nemesis, and I'm sure if Diablo Nemesis had some sort of more defensive combo, it would have been a lot harder because the Flash Fusion Wheel is not too good against Diablo. Now for level 2, we're going to be going against Death Quetzalcoatl, a super good defense type Payblade in its stock form. This match will also be a best of 5, so first to 3 points wins. The score is now 1-0 for Sagittario. Let's show a quick replay of that knockout. Now the score is 2-0. Help me! Help me! And there you go. That's the 3-0 for Flash Sagittario. Death Quetzalcoatl did try its best, but I guess it's just not tanky enough for Flash Sagittario. And don't get me wrong, Death Quetzalcoatl is a super good defense type Beyblade, but Flash is just better in attack. Now for level 3, we're going to be going against the ultimate defense type Beyblade, Duo Uranus SA165 Rubber Sharp, a super super low recoil defense type Beyblade that's being supported by a rubber sharp tip. This combo is going to be way harder than Death Quetzalcoatl, so can Flash Hadjotario beat it? Well, let's find out. Also, I've said this many times in other videos, but it is just so satisfying when the Flash wheel collides with other Beyblades. It's just the pure sound it makes. It is just so satisfying for some reason. Sagittario couldn't knock Duo Uranus out, and now the score is 0-1. Great knockout by Flash there, catching Duo Uranus on the edge, and now the score is 1-1. By the way, I just wanted to thank you all for hitting 10,000 subscribers. It's been a really fast journey, and... It's been crazy because it's only been around 2 months and yeah, I'm thinking of doing some sort of giveaway soon so I'll have some of that information maybe in the comments or just in a community post. This battle is kind of looking like it's coming to an end and unfortunately Flash Sagittario just couldn't be able to knock Duo Uranus out. Now the score is 1-2. I know some of you may be asking why I'm not using a Metal Face Vault. Well, I only generally use it if the opposing Beyblade is also using a Metal Face Vault, which currently none of them are. And I honestly just like the basic picture on the Face Vault as well. The battle is coming to an end once again, but unfortunately Flash couldn't get the knockout once again, and now the score is 1-3. Duo Uranus wins with a 1-3 scoreline, and honestly, I'm not surprised. It is the ultimate defense type Beyblade which means it's supposed to counter pretty much every attack type. 
Now let's try out our second combo which is Flash Sagittario Gravity Ball 145 Right Rubber Flat. An aggressive, harder to control, and a bit taller Beyblade. And we're going to be starting with level 1 once again with Diablo Nemesis in stock form. We're also doing a best of 5, so first of 3 wins. That was an extremely quick knockout and the score is 1-0. Huge hit which leads a tie to both Beyblades. That was some of the most insane battles I've ever seen, and now the score is 1-1. One, one. Kind of looks like Sagittario is trying its best regardless of how low the spin is, and now the score is 1-2 for Diablo Nemesis. And unfortunately, Sagittario couldn't beat Diablo Nemesis this time around, and now the score is 1-3. I think the key difference in this battle was the height difference. As you can see here, the Flash Fusion Wheel is probably hitting the slanted part of the Diablo Fusion Wheel. I think it just might be a little height different just for this matchup. And now let's try level 2 against Death Quotzalcoatl, a super good defense type Beyblade. Last time around, Flash Sagittario actually swept Death Quotzalcoatl, so let's see if it can do the same now. We have to show a replay on that matchup because that one single hit absolutely destroyed Sagittario. And now the score is 0-1 for Death Quotzalcoatl. Another knockout by Death Quotzalcoatl and now the score is 0-2. What a great hit by Sagittario, and now the score is 1-2. Can Sagittario make the comeback of the century? Yup, I think that was the worst hit of them all. It absolutely knocked my Sagittario completely out of the stadium and onto my floor. Sagittario is not looking too well as the previous combo did a lot lot better than this one. And now we're going against level 3, the ultimate defense type Beyblade Duo Uranus. It's been looking quite tough recently for Flash, so let's see if it can beat level 3. So far, Flash actually managed to get a knockout and now the score is 1-0. I think the key difference between level 2 and level 3 is that Death Quotes Quotal's tip, rubber defense flat, actually has some aggressive movements when it's put into a situation. But because Duo Uranus has rubber sharp, it will pretty much never be aggressive, and now the score is 1 1. Another knockout by Flash, damn, it's doing much better this time around, and now the score is 2 1. Looks like it's going to be another sleep out by Sagittario, and now the score is 2-2. And that's it, that's the final hit that Sagittario needed to get the 3-2 scoreline. The high difference actually proved to be useful in this battle as it actually was able to hit the duo fusion wheel. This combo couldn't beat level 1 or 2, but it did manage to beat level 3. Which combos did you guys like better? The one on the left, Gravity Ball 145 Right Rubber Flat that lost to level 1 and 2 but beat level 3? Or the combo on the right, 105 Rubber Flat that beat level 1 and 2 but lost to level 3? Personally, I think I would have chosen the 105 Rubber Flat combo or the one on the right as it was just a lot more consistent. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments what combo you would have chosen. 